Hey everybody, what we're looking at here is the view from Worldwide Telescope. You can download this uh, Worldwide Telescope online to your computer and operate it from your hard drive. Or you can go to the website, Worldwide Telescope, and just start operating it there. You, you can even create an account and join a community. Um, but it's a, it's a nice tool. I really like it. I think actually it's an awesome tool. What they did was they were able to put together all the images that's over the years that's been gathered up of the sky and put it together stitch it together and create this telescope and you can just get the controls and pan around it all and it goes pretty deep in space not as far as Hubble but it goes very deep uh, actually a lot of the images probably came from Hubble and um, but some of them obviously not because Hubble can see farther anyway I like to pan around the constellations because I've got a telescope now. It's always been an interest of mine. Actually, when I was a lot younger and doing artwork and for the school and whatnot, I used to paint scenes of the planets and the stars. And here's we're looking at some nebulae. It's very interesting. This is actual uh, view of what's up there. If you have a strong enough telescope, you will be able to point it. Right now, we're in the constellation of Cassiopeia you'll be able to point your telescope uh, beyond the Cassiopeia constellation if you stay within that region this is what you'll see that is if you got a good telescope some of them just absolutely won't see that far out and also you need to have a clear sky the atmosphere can be a real problem uh, trying to see these actual view this actual image we're looking at right here so I'm panning around yeah I used to uh, I always loved science I always loved astronomy I even wrote a book on uh, that awesome place called space uh, in 2014 it's available on Amazon and uh, so I, I sell copies of it a lot in the UK and in the United States it's it's great for kids it's it, even adults it's, it's not written just for kids but we take um, and we just talk about the uh, elements of space stars, planets, nebulae, uh, supernovas, black holes, just all of it. Everything I could imagine at the time I was writing it. And of course I referenced uh, this. The, the information that I brought to the book was referenced from professionals and from scientists. So um, here we're using Worldwide Telescope and I'm looking at right now we're going and panning into where the Andromeda Galaxy is. Andromeda. Uh, this galaxy is the closest neighbor to our Milky Way galaxy and it is I believe it's, it's, it's about it's several times bigger than the Milky Way as far as how many light years across so in this video I'm not bringing you specifics because I don't memorize this stuff very well it's just a hobby but uh, I do I do know that uh, it's our closest galaxy. Here's one that's a lot further out, but you can see that it's in the proximity of the view of Andromeda. So, but it's it's much much further away. It's just illuminating so bright, and it's in that proximity. So that that's why I love uh, looking at telescopes. My goal is to know where to point the telescope when we look up in the sky. Yeah, I want to know where to point the telescope. So what we do is we use this software, put it on the laptop, bring it outside with you, find a constellation that you can see with your naked eye on the, the laptop, find that constellation, and then you'll get the yellow lines around it. The, that's the region of that constellation. And you can use that as a guide as to where to point the telescope. Look at the computer, see the yellow region, then look up in the sky you see the constellation you see that region and you can point that telescope that way and then put your high powered uh, viewfinder on the telescope and try to zoom way out and see what you can see if you got a clear sky as I noticed that I can see the stars a lot better in Florida in southwest Florida than I can see up in Georgia but there are some places that you can go per, you know based on where you live there's always somewhere you can go where the sky is clearer and uh, that's what I would do as a stargazer um, there are experts out there that can help you too you just google it and they will tell you great places close to you um, but again it has to be a clear night and the worldwide telescope I don't know I, I believe these images are a collection 
and you know the answer is there I just didn't look it up where they get how they compiled this telescope but I do know it's very thorough north south east and west you can uh, all the way around the planet you can use this telescope to find a constellation in the region around it right here we're looking at Ursa Major which contains the Big Dipper now the other stars in that constellation are very faint to the naked eye but Ursa Major is actually more than just a Big Dipper but we're in that region and when we look way out we're seeing distant galaxies and most of these galaxies are named but as I was using this software I started to find galaxies way out there and when I clicked on to find out the information believe it or not it said unknown so I was finding stuff that they have not they have yet to label or give a name to that was using this telescope and you know I'm not gonna see if I can give it a name myself and report it to the scientific community or anything but for some reason this software didn't it said unknown to some of the galaxies I found maybe it's because they're so distant they just have yet you know we haven't charted everything that's in the universe but it doesn't mean you can't see it out there so it's pretty awesome uh, I made this video to give you a good idea um, what you can download to your computer assuming you got a pretty decent computer and internet connection oh actually yeah you do have to connect to get this telescope to work so if you bring the laptop outside and set it up uh, with your telescope you're going to need a Wi-Fi nearby or a data uh, connection on that laptop you might be able to tether from your phone something like that and so yeah so once you're in the software you would go up and where it says connect and you would just click that and then you would click track telescope to get the yellow region and it, it what it does is saves you a lot of time because what it does is it shows you where you're at within a certain constellation you might be able to look up in the sky right now and see the big dipper or orion and um if you do then you you can see on the software the yellow region that goes around the orion or the sagittarius or, or scorpius what we're looking at here um if you never know oh uh, here's a shot of deep into the galaxy the milky way you can see all the gas and dust you can see the star region that's being formed right there that's an incubator of stars when you see a bright region like that clusters uh, inside gases and dust it's usually a star incubator where stars are being born that is the Gal Milky Way galaxy. You can almost see, you know, we're, we're in the Milky Way galaxy, so it's from a view from within it. Now, NASA does have some computer simulations of what the galaxy looks like from afar, but that's just uh, based on a lot of scientific fact and mathematics that we can see the galaxy that way. But I was just showing you the center of, of our galaxy, and now we're looking at the opposite end. I completely went to the opposite end of the center, looked out in the space opposite of that, and this is what we're finding. Just lots of, well, there's dark matter, and then there's the matter, all the stars. There's so many of them, it's, it's, it's mind-blowing. I guess we're, we're just, we're not, we're not able to fathom how huge the universe is. As, as people but we can sure look out there and be amazed by it this is this is an awesome software I, I would have probably not seen all this if I didn't watch say a documentary on TV or something uh, but I'm sitting at the computer uh, on an early Sunday morning and just gazing at this on my own and it's it's nice to be able to do that didn't have to pay a dime for it you just need your Wi-Fi connection whatever you pay for that and you also need a decent computer, whatever that costs you. But other than that, this software is free. It's called Worldwide Telescope. You can download it. Just Google Worldwide Telescope or use Bing or whatever your favorite search engine is. And download this to your computer. Or just go to the website, WorldwideTelescope.com. So I'm going to go ahead and get off this, this video now, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked it. And goodbye.